Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to continue with chapter 5 sorting topic and today we are going to discuss the insertion sort. So last classes we had discussed bubble sort and selection sort. Okay, now we will continue. What is the meaning of insertion sort? It arranges numbers by placing each number in its correct position one by one. See, compared to uh, selection sort and bubble sort, insertion sort, you are going to take out a number and immediately you are going to place it in particular position. That is main difference. And another difference, you see, it will go with the backward. See, for example, in the bubble sort and select, uh, selection sort, it will start with 0 and x and it will keep on comparing it and move it to the swap it to the correct position for the bubble shot. In the selection sort, it is going to find out the minimum value and at the end, it is going to swap it to the first position. It will start from the first position. But if you take the insertion sort, it is going to start from the backward direction. Right to left, it will start. Okay. And that is the main difference between other shorting technique and insertion sort. And immediately, one by one only, it will just swap it. And at the end, you can get the sorting order. And this is also we are working with the ascending order only. And how it will work, the list is split into two parts. Again, it is a left side. Start with one element and groove. So if you are taking the list, so this one, the complete one, we will be considering as a unsorted one and the first element always we will be considering as a sorted one and whatever it is coming like whatever the smallest element is coming it will just go and place it before the first element so the left side will grow automatically okay so unsorted plot will be the right side it contains numbers yet to be sorted i hope everyone is clear insertion sort and the best example is if you are taking out the card so if you are taking for example here we are having two already 4, 5 and 10. But you are taking uh, from the bundle 7. How are we going to place it? You are going to place it in center of 5 and B. Sorry, 5 and 10. So this type of placing we can call, is a, call it as an insertion sort. And in each pass, the first number from the unsorted part is picked and inserted into the sorted part at the correct place. Large numbers shift right to the make space for the new number so large numbers are keep on shifting to the right so that it will be having the space so that you can keep your uh, smallest element to the right place okay this continues until all numbers are in order okay before going to the algorithm again we are going to check the tracing okay you can see here this is the insertion sort algorithm uh, no tracing and uh, i am giving the element here the name of the list is list equal to 11, 8, minus 2, 0 and 4. Now again the pass 1. So pass 1, the comparison, it will start with a 0 index. Okay. And you can see here, we I told you, right, you are going to check with the right side. Like from the backward direction. So first element always you have to consider as a sorted one. And you are going to start your loop with the first element. Which means the first index you are going to start with. And 8, you are going to compare it with 11, whether it is less than 11. As I told you last class also, you can, comparison you can do, 11 is less than 8 or 8 is le less than 11. Both are same only. So, but any one method you can follow throughout the tracing. So, now I am checking 8 is less than 11. The condition is true. Then immediately you have to swap it. Okay, that will happen for the first one. So, the first index, you are going to compare it with the 0 index. If it is less than, immediately you have to do the swapping. So, not sorted. The list is again 8, 11, 2, 4, 0, 4. And in the past 2, what is happening? Past 2, uh, it, the comparison will start from the next element. It is moving to the second element now. Okay. So, second element and the first, it is going to check the first element. Minus 2 is less than 11. Yes, the condition is true. Now, this will swap it to the first position. The second position move to first position. After that again you are going to check the minus 2 with 8. So two times you are going to compare it. So first third element to sorry second element to first element and first element to zero element you have to check it. Clear now? So that is called a pass 2. After pass 2 
uh, no, you can check the list. It is minus 2, 8, 11, 0 and 4. And next is a pass 3. So, pass 3, how many times it will check? It has to check 3 times. Okay, first it will start with the 0, 1, 2, 3. So, from the 4th element, you are going to check the 3rd element. 0 is less than 11. Yes, if the condition is true, immediately the swapping will happen. After that, again, you are going to check 0 is uh, less than 8. Yes, it is true. Again, immediately the swapping will happen. Then, 0 to minus 2. It, again, minus 2 is smaller than 0. So, no swapping will happen. Okay, now not sorted. The list is minus 2, 0, 8, 11 and 4. And again the pass 4. So, pass 4 also you can check. Minus 2, 0, 8, 11 and 4. You are taking the same thing. And the last element, 1 by 1 you are going to check as it is. Immediately the swapping should happen in the same process. Now the finally you got the List is sorted minus 2, 0, 4, 8, 11. I hope everyone is clear with this. Again, you can see here n minus 1 passes only is happening. Okay. So, this is a tracing method. Now, let's see the algorithm. Okay. Now, I am going to explain to you insertion sort algorithm. The name of the function is insertion sort. I am passing here to you know, argument num list and n. So, num list is my name of the list and n is the length of the list. We will take one example here. So, here I am taking the example as 9, 8 and 3, 10, n. Okay. Now, set i equal to 1. What is i here? So, i here is nothing but this is a 0 index, first index, second index and third index. So, i is pointing out the index 1 here. Okay, and I also just dealing with the pass, pass 1, pass 2. Okay, it is the outer loop. And while I is less than N. So, what is the I value here? 1. So, 1 is less than N. N is nothing but what? N is equal to 4 here. Right, because 4 elements are there. So, N is 4. So, the condition is true. If the condition is true, what you have to repeat? Steps 3 to 7. So, you are going to set the temporary variable. What is the temporary variable? you are going to create one temporary variable to store one of the value. So, we had discussed there are two types of swapping you can do it by using the temporary variable, another without using the temporary variable. But in insertion sort, we are using by using the temporary variable, okay. So, temp equal to num list of i. So, what is the num list of i? Num list is my name of the list of i is nothing but the one, first element. First element is what? 8. That you are going to store it in. TEMP temporary variable. Clear now? After that, you are setting what inner loop now? J equal to I minus 1. What is I minus 1? I is nothing but 1. 1 minus 1 is nothing but 0. Now, while J is greater than or equal to 0 and num list of J is greater than 10. Now, you can see here I am checking two conditions here by using the AND operator. How the AND operator will work? AND operator will work both the condition should be true. Then only the while loop will go. Otherwise, it won't go inside the while loop. Clear? If any one condition is false also, it won't go. Now, according to the situation, what is J? J is nothing but 0. 0 is greater than 0, equal to 0. Yes, 0 is equal to 0. The condition is true now. And num list of J. What is num list of J? J is point out with the 0 index. Uh, that is, element is 9. So, 9 is greater than TMP. Yes, 9 is greater than TMP. 9 is greater than 8. The condition is true. Now, if the condition is true, it is going here. Step 6. Num list of J plus 1. What is num list of J plus 1? J plus 1 is nothing but 8. Right? Sorry, the first index. J plus 1 is nothing but 0 to 1. And num list of J. So, you are going to swap the first element with that. So, after this line... Your list will be 9, comma, 9, comma, 3, comma, 10. Okay, because you are assigning j plus 1 equal to num list of j. So, this value you are assigning to the first position. Now, don't worry because 8, the first element already we are storing it in the TEMP. After that, what you are doing? Set j equal to j minus 1. 
So what is j minus 1? The minus 1. Because this j is in 0th loop. Now it is going to the minus 1. It will come exit of the loop. Okay. After that what you are doing? Num list of j plus 1 equal to 10p. What is j plus 1 now? j is nothing but now. After this point the j is now what? Minus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 is what? 0 position. You are going to insert what? Temporary variable 8. Now after inserting your list will become now. 8, 9, 3 and 10. Clear now? How it is happening? Then set i equal to i plus 1. Now you are going to increase the outer loop. Now next the pass 2 will start. Okay. So now i is equal to i plus 1 is what? 1 plus 1 is 2. So the pass 2 will start and the i value will become now the next position 3. Next time it is going to check this value also and this value also like that it will go till it will get sorted i hope everyone is understanding the algorithm okay now let's see the program here this is the insertion sort program so des is a function creation and insertion sort is nothing but the name of the function and i'm passing here list one as my list name and i'm creating here for i in range of 1 comma len of list. So remember in the previous one we have discussed. Uh, you are creating n equal to len of list. Instead of that I am directly passing it here len of list 1. Okay. After that key equal to list 1 of i. So key equal to list 1. Instead of temp I am creating here key here. So key equal to list 1 of i. J equal to i minus 1. The same. J you are going to set i minus 1. While j is greater than or equal to 0 and list 1 of j. Okay. Then is greater than key. If it is true, you are just setting list 1 of j plus 1 equal to list 1 of j. You are shifting the element to the right position. After that, this print statement is not required. After that, j equal to j minus 1. You are decrementing the j equal to j minus 1. Now, list 1 of j plus 1 equal to key. So, j plus 1 is what? Now you are, uh, you know, if it is a minus, the first two parts what we had discussed, the j will be minus 1. You are inserting the temporary variable to the first position. After that, I am creating num list here. Num list equal to eval function. I am using it and insertion sort of num list. I am calling the function and passing the num list here. After that, the same concept only. You are printing the list by using the for num. Okay. And I am run the program now. I'm giving here 9, 8, minus 1, 2, 3. You can see here minus 1, 2, 3, 8, 9. The list is sorted here. Okay. So this is also a lab program. Just go through that. If you have any question, please post your question in the description box. Okay. The last topic for this chapter, uh, chapter is uh, we have to see the time complexity. So before that, I just want to quickly revise how the working method of bubble short, selection sort and insertion sort. So bubble short, it will work with repeatedly swaps adjacent element if needed, right? And selection sort, it is going to select the minimum element and places it accordingly. And insertion sort inserts each element in its correct position. So these are the three working method of each sorting technique. And the last concept is time complexity of algorithm. What is the meaning of time complexity is nothing but if you are taking any algorithm, how much time it is required to execute the program. That's what we had discussed the overhead concept. We should not take any additional time also, additional cost also. Otherwise, it becomes a, the program is compared to other program, the program is very less scope, right? So that one only we are going to deal with it now. How can you find out the time complexity of algorithm? In case if your algorithm with no loops, which means there is no for loop or no while loop are there, then the time complexity of one, okay, which means we can mention as a constant time algorithm. This we can call it as a constant time algorithm of O of 1, okay. And next one, algorithm with a single loop running from 1 to n. So only one single loop if it is running, then this one we can call it as a linear time algorithm. That we can call it as a O of N. Okay, the capital letter O you have to mention O of N. 
and he said algorithm contains nested loop as we discussed now right all the three algorithm we are having nested loop outer loop also inside loop also where one loop runs inside another this one we can call it as a quadratic time algorithm so what is that uh, algorithm time it will take us o of n square it will take clear now so no loop means we can call it as a constant time algorithm o of 1 Single loop means linear time algorithm O of n. And nested loop is quadratic time algorithm. It is O of n square. So when both single and nested loops are present in an algorithm, the dominant loop, the one with the higher complexity only determines the overall the time complexity. Clear? So now if you take bubble short selection sort and uh, insertion sort, it contains the nested loop. So the time complexity for each one is O of n square in the average and worst cases. Clear now? So always we will be taking the best case. Okay, not the worst cases. So this concept we can call it as a time complexity of algorithm. I hope everyone is clear with the concept. If you have any question, post your question in the comment section. I will answer your question. Okay, there are a uh, few students asked me these are the small small theoretical concepts I didn't explain. Definitely I am going to explain it in the revision classes. Before the exam definitely I am going to explain to you what are the important questions. From the PU board also we will get certain questions. I will explain with the question and answer type. Okay, so uh, those who didn't subscribe my channel please do the subscription and don't skip the video and watch the video till the end of the video. Okay, thank you so much.